Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So a couple of videos ago, you guys saw that I worked on a Nissan Pathfinder where we replaced the rotors and we actually went ahead and replaced the bearings on that. And I know most of you out there won't always replace the bearings. We replaced them because they had a little bit of wear and it was cheap insurance just to make sure that everything was okay and that we wouldn't have any issues going down the road. Now, I saved the old bearings. I got them here on the bench with me, guys. Now, I didn't show you guys how to reuse these. Now, some people will just reuse them by just re-greasing them and calling it a day. However, I do like to clean them and then re-grease them. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to clean the grease off of them. And I'm going to show you how I use the method of your palm to be able to fill them up with grease. Now, this is a bearing that I, I already took off the car. Now, the truck is long gone, guys. I just saved these so I can make a video, you know, right now. Um, but this is one of the old bearings. I don't know if it's driver's or passenger side. It's one of the old ones. I already went ahead and I cleaned this one up. Um, now, I will show you on the other one how to clean it up, and it's quite simple. The way I like to do it, and I already, you can see my little cup here has a, a little bit of murky fluid. Uh, this is basically a cup that I dug from uh, my lunch uh, trash here. It's a, it's a Mickey D's cup, so I don't really... Uh, play favorites here this is not a sponsor just the cup that i had so grab whatever cup you have uh, make sure it's not styrofoam make sure it's plastic and can withstand some chemicals um, i find these mickey d's cups actually can withstand brake cleaner so that's why i use them so i filled it up with some brake cleaner now if you guys have a can of brake cleaner where well, you're probably gonna have to do a spray it in here until you get to about that much in there um, what you're gonna want to do once you have your cup filled with your brake cleaner now here's a bearing that I haven't cleaned up yet you guys can see there is grease packed all in there now what you're gonna want to do and I already did it to this is you're gonna take a blue rag and just clean off any excess grease anything that's on the outside um, I'll kind of just reiterate as you take your blue rag and you just want to clean up the majority as much as you can um, even though you can get it off if you have globs of this stuff when you put this into your solution with the brake cleaner over there It's not gonna want to clean up as easy uh, So the way I do it is I take my cup that I filled with brake cleaner now I used uh, this to clean the other bearing so it's murky guys and what you're gonna want to do is basically put this in there and I like to do one of two things um, basically kind of slosh it around like this and what I'll do is I'll kind of stick my hand in there now wear gloves guys don't do this barehanded I'll uh, just kind of rotate the bearing kind of like this while it's submersed in the fluid. That'll help work loose any sort of grease. And what you're also doing is getting the brake cleaner to work and do its thing. Now, cleaning these does take a little bit of time. I do this process kind of just what I showed you in conjunction with pulling it out every once in a while and blowing air through it uh, and then dipping it back in here and just moving it around. I do this like two or three times and I try to keep it submerged in here for about five to ten minutes to give that brake cleaner time to eat away the actual grease and about every five minutes or so you know just do this get in here maybe pull it out if you have an air gun at your shop you know blow some air in between it'll come out in chunks because the solvent will break it down otherwise just keep rotating it guys and eventually you will have a cleaned up bearing now i'm just going to put that to the side and leave it after uh you do that step what you want to do is just dry it out with some compressed air and basically, you know, you have a workable bearing that's going to be like this. Now, you want to check your bearing uh, for any heat marks or any sort of issues uh, as far as these rollers go. Make sure your rollers are there. Make sure there's no crack in the race area. And just make sure that there is no scoring on your internals. Now, this bearing you can see had some previous wear. Uh, that's why we didn't reuse it on the truck. Uh, this one, someone had put RV grease in there or some sort of marine grease. It was a blue color. It really wasn't uh, red, typical wheel bearing axle grease. So that's why I opted to clean everything out and replace these bearings. Plus, I had no idea how many miles are on these bearings. So I told the customer for an extra 75, 80 bucks uh, in bearings, uh, you know, you can rest assured easily if you just replace them and he just opted to do so. Um, so these are pretty much junk. I wouldn't recommend uh, reusing these, especially mine. Yours may not be. So, you know, just make sure you uh, check them before you go ahead and grease them. Now, I'm going to go get some grease. And unfortunately, I don't have like a little tub of grease. I'm going to have to use my grease gun to uh, basically put the grease in my hand. So let me go get some grease in the palm of my hand, guys. And I'll be right back with you guys. And I'll show you how to fill this up using the manual method. 
All right, guys, so I went ahead and I got some grease in my hand and I got my bearing in the other hand. Now, you just want to put about this amount of grease inside the palm of your hand. You don't need a whole lot here. So you're going to take your bearing. Now, you're going to notice on your bearing you have two sides. You have your tapered side, which is a smaller end, and then the bigger side. Now, if you notice here, there's not a lot of room in between there, but this side you have quite a bit of room. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be basically sandwiching the grease inside of the bearings. Think of playing Pac-Man back in the day is the best way to put it. But instead of Pac-Man having, you know, like double jaws, you only have one jaw up here. So what you're going to want to do is kind of slope your grease kind of like at this angle. See how I have it. I know it's very difficult to show you guys, but I'm going to try to make this video at least somewhat informational so you guys can kind of get the point. And what you're going to want to do is take your bearing. Now I'll show you guys like this and you're just going to dig into it and push it into your palm and as you do that you'll see you'll build up a little bit in that little hole now you are going to get some through the middle here and it's okay because that'll build up and you're just going to wind up scooping it and throwing it back on your palm and if you notice on your hand there's a clean mark so what you're going to want to do and i'm just going to do this here i'm going to take little bites at a time you don't need real big bites here guys just little tiny bites and i'll show you guys here what happens now I have many years experience doing this um, and I used to do this a lot when I didn't have the tool for it. Uh, when I started off, you know, like back in my uh, old school days, if you want to call it that, where I used to, you know, have a Honda and, you know, mess around with it and do stuff like this. Um, this is how I used to do it. So it's been a while. But if you guys notice here, you see that grease is creeping up. And if you just slowly take bites out of it and let's see if we can make it increase even more here. I don't know how well it's gonna pick it up, but you can see that my grease is coming out the top. And what you're gonna wanna do in this method is, as you're doing this, when you achieve that, you're gonna wanna turn it a little bit, and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and do it to the other side. And you're just gonna keep doing it this way, guys, until you have the grease flowing through 360 all around your bearing. Now, that's how you do it. Now, am I gonna do the whole bearing here? Because all you're doing is just as soon as you see it coming out the top you switch it and keep going now in the middle part you see you get all this buildup what I normally would do is I just take my finger take it off I'll just repalm it here and then you just continue to keep doing that until pretty much all of the grease runs out now if you do this really quick this should take you no more than about three minutes of bearing uh, it's real quick real simple real easy and that's how you guys grease bearings now Fortunately for me, I don't need to use these, so I'm going to go ahead and tuck this into the trash because it does no good for me. And the reason why I like wearing gloves, guys, is just pretty much for this method right here. If you guys look at that, I just touched all that grease, and my hands are nice and clean. I can touch my face, and, you know, no dirt, no grime or anything on there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's very useful for some of you now. Not everyone uh, is going to be doing this, and this process is kind of limited because you don't really see these style bearings anymore, guys. They're kind of, uh, you know, away with the automotive application. Now, in big trucks and heavy-duty stuff and, like, trailers and things like that, they still use this style. But if it's just a straight-up automotive type of thing, like most modern cars and trucks, they don't use this setup anymore. They've gone to the way of the wheel bearing with a hub and everything in one uh, where it's bolt-on instead of a floating style like this. Please comment, like, and subscribe, guys. It definitely helps my channel grow. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you guys on the next repair.